the romantic moments. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Holly and today I am feeling a little like sniffly so I'm in bed still just kind of reading trying to finish this wonderful book. Um, anyway, but I just realized what I should be doing instead is, wait, hold on, my um, iPad just did a whole update because it connected to the internet for a second there. Hold on, what is happening? Where is my, okay, I realized we should read letters to June. Ah! <laughs> um, I got them when Holly Black was doing like her newsletter thing and I haven't read them yet because I wanted to finish reading the trilogy first and then I wanted to read it. And now that we are done with the trilogy, here we go, woohoo, I'm so excited. I'm gonna start freaking crying, I think. Okay, so the PDF has 15 pages out of which one is this, so anyway. The following letters were delivered by the High King's messenger into the hands of Lady Asha who burned each one a few in the flame of candles and the others in her hearth, hearth, like the fire, like mantle, I guess. Okay, uh -huh. how many pages are there? Because the third page is just like a constellation. Okay, ready guys? <sighs> okay, June. You're perhaps the only being overcautious, but I am writing to inform you that all is settled between the undersea and Elfheim. The treaties are signed in sea foam and blood. Expectantly, Cardin. Okay, that one's like, okay, he's like letting you know that we're good so you can come back, you know, like we signed the treaty. Another freaking constellation. <laughs> okay, second one. Jude. Since I cannot imagine there is much in the human lands to interest you, I can only suppose your continued absence in Elfheim is due to me. I urge you. Come be angry at a nearer distance. Oh. <laughs> oh if I start crying, it's going to be bad because my nose is going to get even more plugged than it is right now. So come be angry at a nearer distance, okay? <laughs> oh, so cute. Another constellation. Aya. Jude. You're in no mood for games. Very well. I'm in no mood for them either. Let me write it outright. You are pardoned. I revoke your banishment. I rescind my words. Come home. <laughs> Freaking Jude didn't read them. <sighs> Come home and shout at me. Come home and fight with me. Come home and break my heart if you must. Just come home. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> break my heart if you must, okay? I'm gonna cry. <sighs> oh my god. Jude, not even responding to my missives is ridiculous and beneath you, and I hate it. Beneath you, and I hate it. Okay, this is pretty long. Ooh, and it starts To the High Queen of Elfheim, above me is the same silvery moon that shines down on you. Looking at it makes me recall the glint of your blade pressed against my throat in other romantic moments. <laughs> I love that Cardin counts that as a romantic moment. I love it. Amazing. I do not know what keeps you from returning to the high court, whether it is the vexation with me or whether having spent time in the mortal world, you have come to believe that a life free of the folk is better than one ruling over them. In my most wretched hours, I believe you will never come back. Why would you, save for your ambition? You have always known exactly what I am and seen all my failings, all my weaknesses and scars. I am flattered my, I flattered myself that at moments you had feelings for me other than contempt. But even were that true, they would be but watered wine beside the feast of your order, greater desires. And yet, my heart is buried with you in the strange soil of the mortal world. As it was drowned with you in the cold waters of the undersea, it was yours before I could admit it, and yours it shall ever remain. Oh. That was very, like, eloquent. Freaking Cardinal is so freaking smart. Ah! Like, and yet, my heart is buried with you in the strange soil of the mortal world as it was drowned with you in the cold waters of the undersea. Like, when she was under, in the undersea, like, he's saying, like, my heart is, like, buried with you. Like, you have my heart. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, and then the last one is again the whole it came writing ju 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 ju. Okay, that was really cute. Uh, I think the best one out of all of these is. Honestly, the I think like the third one where it's like, come home and shout at me, come home and fight with me, come home and break my heart if you must. Just come home. Like, I love that one. And then, or I urge you, come be angry at a nearer distance. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so the um, Stolen Air is coming out on Saturday. Well, okay, not. It actually came out today, but I won't get my copy until Saturday. And guess what? I have two copies. Um, maybe I'll do one as a giveaway or something. But basically what happened is I'm meeting Holly Black at a bookshop when she's doing a signing. So I'm getting one book like that. And then another friend of mine was at Barnes & Noble the other day. And then they had the books out. So she ended up buying it for me as well. And then, so that's how I have two copies. But I won't get them until Saturday, which is fine. But I really hope Cruel Prince, I know it's about like oak and stuff. But I really, 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 really hope um, Jude and Carden will make like like still you can see them, you know. Please, baby Jesus and baby Yoda, um, let me have Jude and Carden because I really need them. I do you have any fan fiction recommendations? Because I would love it. Like actually hundred percent would love it. Please send it my way. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um if you'd like to keep up with my madness, follow me on my bookstagram. I think it's going pretty good on there like not bad at all <laughs> i've made a lot of cool friends on there too so i'm super excited anyway um if you'd like you should follow me on my bookstagram and if not subscribe on here and i'll probably make some videos thanks bye oh and don't forget those fan fictions if you've got any